What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. In today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is a home match at Old Trafford against the Gunners, reversing Arsenal, and then later on the episode we have the Capital Cup one, uh, the Capital One Cup final against Newcastle United. I don't know how I got that mixed up. But guys, just to quickly recap the last episode, we did have a match against Tottenham Hotspur. We ended up winning 2-1. Uh, Messi and Ronaldo were both the scorers in that match. Now guys, how can you forget? We had the January transfer window uh, in the last episode. And what an episode that was. We brought in so many fantastic players. And the first name off the bat, we signed Falcao for $69 million. We brought him back to Old Trafford. We, it was for 69 million plus Forenzi, the free Roma player we picked up on a free contract. So now I've put him up front. I've pushed Messi out to a centre forward where it actually he belongs. And Wayne Rooney can play in the centre mid. He can play as a, a cam. But uh, my, my centre mids push up with the play. They hold possession. And I do believe he'll play absolutely fantastic up there. But I, I really can't wait to play this career mode with Falcao, Messi and Ronaldo up front. That's going to be absolutely incredible. But guys, that was not the only players that we signed. Next season we signed four pre-contract players. We signed, <laughs> I can't believe this, Ian Robin from Bayern Munich. Also, two other players from Bayern Munich. Frank Ribery, Mario Goetze and Eden Hazard. Obviously, Eden Hazard is still from Chelsea. But to make that money, we did sell uh, Marquisio. That funded Falcao's move. And Andre Ayew. We did sell to Napoli. We sold Marquisio to Napoli for $40 million. Now, to fill the money for the other pre-contracts, we sold Ander Herrera to uh, Barcelona, which was disappointing. I kind of... That was one of the, the players I didn't really want to part with, but um, I'll explain myself in a second. And also, we sold... And Herrera, and we also signed, uh, sold Gaston Ramirez to Tottenham Hotspur, who we did pick up for. Uh, we swapped him for Tom Cleverley and Gaston a couple of years ago now, and uh, Gaston went up in stats ridiculously, and Tom Cleverley still a shit player. But uh, funnily enough, in this Arsenal match, <laughs> uh, we are versing uh, Koscielny, who picked up a red card, which I found was uh, quite funny. But Ronaldo manages to find Falcao on the brace. Falcao buries it to make it 2-2 against Arsenal. So we do have the squad report in this episode as well, guys. Um, so if someone, like, this is just my, like, um, excuse, I guess. If someone come up to you and said, okay, you can get Eden Hazard, Iron Robin, Frank Rubri, and Goetze, I'd be like, fuck you. Yeah. What do I have to do? Where can you sign me up? You have to get rid of Ander Herrera. And Gaston Ramirez. I would. I reckon anyone would do that in a heartbeat. Because I can just. I can't wait to play with them next season. Just imagine we're going to have Iron Robin and Frank Ribery bombing down the wings. They're going to be whipping it into Falcao, Robin. Uh, sorry, uh, Ronaldo, or Messi. Like it's just. And even if I don't play with them, we've still got Royce and Di Maria. We can switch switch in and out. And Mario Goetze is going to be a fantastic cam as well. We've also got Eden Hazard as well. That's. <laughs> we're going to so many players at United. And I really can't wait to uh, start the next season with them. But it's currently 3-2 against Arsenal. Arsenal do a short cross here to, be, to Diaby. They whip it into Mertesacker, who gets up on the header. But David De Gea saves quite comfortably. Now, I did do a substitution here. I did bring on Shakiri. He whips it into Matt Hummels. And it was a solid save. But we do end up winning 3-2 against Arsenal. Falcao picks up two goals and Ronaldo picks up the other one. But we do have the squad report in this episode and I will show you it because you guys have been asking for it. So David De Gea unfortunately still hasn't gone up in stats. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm going to have to loan him out next season and maybe even buy a new goalkeeper. Uh, Luke Shaw hasn't gone up any stats at the moment. Angle Di Maria is still pretty solid. Falcao is uh, still a 90 overall, 31 years of age. Will Keane hasn't gone up. Adnan Janazai has gone up a plus two. Chris Smalling has gone up a plus one. Phil Jones has gone up a plus two. What a solid player. Zaha, David Alaba has gone up a plus two. He's an 89 overall. And uh, Wilfred Zaha has gone up a plus two. Wayne Rooney is still an 88 overall, 31 years of age. Ronaldo, 94 overall, 94 overall, 32 years of age. Shakiri has gone up a plus two. Sigurdsson uh, has gone up a little bit. Hummels is a 90 overall now. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Messi is still on 94 overall. But you're most welcome to go pause and have a look at the stats in depth if you want to. But we do have a match here against Newcastle in the Capital One Cup final. And my same reasoning um, from last season and the season before. I don't care about the Capital One Cup, to be quite honest. 
or the FA Cup. But we're quite fortunate to get into the semi-finals in this season. I thought we might as well play. We've already made it, simming it there. So I guess showing you guys a piece of silverware is no harm. Why not? It's just another fixture and just makes another episode. Well, makes this season a little bit longer, which it doesn't. It doesn't bother me. But guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 15 Manchester United crew mode, remember to leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. A simple like really does go a long way. And I do put a lot of eff uh, off. Evidently, I put a lot of effort. My voice is going sore from so much commentaries. But, uh, yeah, I just can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support. And let's keep it up, shall we? But Falcao uh, has a shot off there, gets deflected. Phil Jones from the corner sends a audacious shot at the goalkeeper. Uh, but he was quite comfortably... Uh, he was quite comfortably not there, so it didn't account to anything. But Suzoko there with some uh, slick skills gets the shot off. David De Gea quite comfortably saved, however. But Newcastle were threatening here. They were getting in some very dangerous positions. And so were we. Messi manages to find Falcao, who puts it in to the back of the net just before half time to start off the scoring for United. And I can just... I just love having Falcao back into the side. Absolutely fantastic. The triple threat, the, the buddy trio up there is just fantastic. Falcao, Ronaldo, and Messi. And they're just working so well. Messi is really working well as a center forward. Falcao absolutely buries that. And I still feel really disappointed that I couldn't sign him in the in the second season. But Ronaldo on the ball here whips it into Vidal. Vidal misses. And it falls short, falls short to Wayne Rooney. His jostle. Uh, couldn't quite get onto it. But Shakiri headers it to Messi. Uh, one, two, back and forth. Shakiri whips it in, but the Falcao header just went over the bar. But Newcastle were on the counter-attack here, and they were trying to go for that scoop uh, across the face shot, which doesn't work in FIFA 15 whatsoever. But Marco Royce running down the wing, dummies the play. He was going to cross it in, but he manages to get past him. He runs all the way and puts it in the back of the net in the 90th minute. So he scored in the 45th minute and the 90th minute. And the 90th minute to seal the 2-0 victory against Newcastle. And to get another piece of silverware for Old Trafford. And uh, yeah, it was a good win. So guys, thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. And remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of you after you watch this video. Thanks again, guys. Goodbye.